hearts. Last week on Epiphany, we said that God played hide and seek with the Magi. Today on the feast of the baptism of our Lord, it's more like charades. He does pantomime with John the Baptist in the Jordan River. His baptism is a prophetic action, a a symbolic enactment of his death and resurrection. Down into the Jordan is a symbol of his death. Out of the water is a symbol of his resurrection. Actually, this is really the first prophecy of his victory over death. But it's a prophecy not in words, but in action. At the beginning of his public life, he sums up his life's mission. And John the Baptist is the one who shouts, behold the Lamb of God. Okay, you, know, you got it right. Um, you, you got it right, John. Jesus is the Lamb of God, the fulfillment of the Passover mystery, the one who came to sacrifice himself for us. Like great authors sum up the, their works in, in the introduction to their books, or even in the like, first sentence uh, of the book. Well, well, Jesus, in his first act of his public ministry, sums up the central claim of Christianity. Victory over sin, death, and the powers of evil. You know, looking at our Lord's baptism, we might say that our Lord seems to be showing us the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem and revealing the raising up of a new temple, his body, the mystical body of Christ, the church, the new Jerusalem. And there's a little curious thing that the Christmas season ends today with the feast of the baptism of our Lord. And it it seems like it might not perfectly fit with the Christmas season. But but the reason is that baptism is our entry point into the mystery of Christmas. It's our entry point into the mystical body of Christ, the church. Um, Like, They say, what good would it have been if he were born 1,000 times in Bethlehem if he is not born once in us? What good would it have done us if he were born 1,000 times in Bethlehem if he is not born once in us? In baptism, we become sons in the Son. St. Augustine kind of fit the baptism of our Lord into the mystery of Christmas when he said, the Son of God became a son of man, that the sons of men might become sons of God. With the feast of the baptism of our Lord, our celebration of Christmas is complete. Because celebration means entering into the mystery. And it's by our baptism that we enter into this mystery of Christ's mystical body. Um, Now, Baptism does not guarantee uh, that a person will enter heaven. Uh, One priest, Father Phil Bloom, says that baptism does not mean that all, that a baptized person will automatically become a saint. Like Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin both received the sacrament. The person who turns from his baptism has a greater potential for evil. But it does mean that before baptism, it's easier to be lost than to be saved. But post-baptism, it's easier to be saved than to be lost. Once we enter the mystical body of Christ, if we make use of the means God gave us for our salvation, it is easier to be saved than to be lost. Um, And uh, King Louis the the, the XII of France would never sign his name Louis King. He would sign it Louis of Poissy. He said uh, that that's where he was baptized, in Poissy in France. He says, Poissy is the place where I was baptized, and I think more of the place where I was baptized than of the Reims Cathedral 
where I was crowned. It is a greater thing to be a child of God than to be a ruler of a kingdom. This kingdom, he said, I will lose at death, but to be a child of God will be my passport to everlasting glory. And, and so baptism, in baptism, we enter that body of Christ and we receive his merits. When, when we're baptized, it's as if God sees us, Fulton Sheen says, with Jesus-colored glasses. It's as if we ourselves had undergone his passion and death. Um, at that moment, God the Father looks at us and says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And even though baptism was for most of us a ways back, confession is, has been called a second ba baptism. Because when we come to confession, God pushes the reset button for us. And we don't start again at the bottom of the mountain, we start again at the top of the mountain. We leave confession on the high road. You know, we've, we've regained our altitude that we've lost. Like we say, we start again from the top with God. Uh, so God once again sees us as his beloved son in whom he is well pleased. So, so we, we pray that we might use the means that God has given us through, his, through the church uh, for our salvation and, and come to confession because like we say, when we walk out of the box, God the Father sees us with Jesus-colored glasses.